there are some popular myths about dogs that are just not true and can be hurting your dog. For example, believing that a dog needs to chew on bones can be deadly. There are also other misleading myths, like when a dog licks you, they're kissing you, or that one human year equals seven dog years. You'll learn the truth about all of these, but first, here is one of the biggest dog lies. Dogs see in black and white. While dogs are colorblind, it's nowhere to the point of seeing no colors. For example, dogs can see the colors yellow and blue, but are entirely blind to other colors like green and red. Here you can see different examples of how things would look like for dogs compared to humans. Also, this is why it's best to buy them blue or yellow toys instead of regular colors. I will link the ones I have been using with my dog in the description so you can check them out. While believing this myth is pretty harmless, this next myth could possibly hurt your dog. Dog parks are healthy places for your pet. In all fairness, these places can be excellent for your dog to release energy and interact socially with other dogs. However, there are many dangers that you need to watch out for. For example, they can get infected with fleas or ticks, which are very common in those areas. Not only this, but interacting with dogs can be hostile and lead to your dog possibly getting hurt. This doesn't mean completely stopping dog parks, though. You would just need to be more careful, ensuring your dog is well cleaned and groomed afterwards so you can keep your dog healthy. However, one myth about dogs you still believe in is that one human year equals seven dog years. Most people think dogs live up to 10 years, although this is actually really dependent on their size. While large dogs can live up to eight years, small dogs can live up to 13. Also, as seen by this graph, dogs slow down their aging as time goes on, making it very difficult to compare with human years. This next fact can actually save your dog's life. However, before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to more interesting dog videos so you can keep your dog as happy as possible. But no more wasting time. Let's look over this next myth. All food safe for humans is also safe for dogs. However, this is only sometimes true. For example, foods like cherries, avocados, grapes, coffee, and cinnamon are very harmful to your pet. Meanwhile, foods like carrots, oatmeal, yogurt, eggs, and even fish are very beneficial to your dog and can keep them healthy. All in all, it's best to research what foods can be safe for dogs to avoid putting them in potentially harmful or even life-threatening situations by giving them the wrong food. Meanwhile, one myth that really hurts to see is that dog owners should shave their dog's fur during the summer to help them cool off. While this may make sense on paper, it actually does the opposite and instead heats them up even more. Shaving down your dog's coat will expose their skin to too much solar radiation, increasing the risk of sunburn and other infections. So instead of giving your dog a new cut, just brush your dog's fur instead. This takes away dead hair and allows for better air circulation in their coat. But here's another dog behavior myth. When dogs wag their tail, they're happy. However, as good as this may seem, this is not entirely true. For example, if your dog wags its tail downwards, it feels submissive or concerned. 
If they wag to the right, it can mean they are comfortable with the person they are with. Also, if they move their tail really fast, it tends to mean they are very excited. It is essential to analyze this behavior and talk to a vet if any concerns show up. However, one myth that people constantly get wrong is whenever a dog licks you, they are actually kissing you. Even though dogs are known to show affection by licking people, it can mean other things that people are not fully aware of. For example, sometimes when a dog licks you, it means you have scent particles that your dog is attracted to. Also, your dog tries to groom you by licking areas with a lot of sweat. Some people say dogs licking them is lovely, while others say it's downright gross. Regardless of your opinion, this next myth may undoubtedly affect what you think about this. A dog's mouth is cleaner than a human's. Some people even go as far as to say it can be used as a way of cleaning. But as you may have guessed, this is also false. While it is true that some bacteria cannot reproduce in a dog's saliva, it is far from the point of being sanitary. If anything, it is known that dogs can actually infect humans by licking them too often. One way to prevent this is to ensure your dog's teeth are constantly getting cleaned. Nevertheless, one popular dog myth that is just not true is that sad dogs eat grass. They might actually be eating grass because they feel stressed or bored. So don't worry, they are not sick if they eat some grass here and there. However, just like anything, it can be a warning sign if they do it too often. If your dog vomits afterwards or shows symptoms of sickness, you should visit a vet to make sure there is nothing wrong. But no matter if your dog eats grass or not, this next false myth is something you should never do. Getting two puppies at once. This sounds like a perfectly reasonable approach as your little friend can get a companion. In reality, however, it ends up being much more complicated to train your dog if this is the case. Even if they are the easiest dog breeds to train, they are oftentimes so dependent upon each other that they tend to be distracted. And because their bond is so strong, they tend to place less value on their human relationships. This will then cause you problems down the line because your dog will be more disobedient and rebellious, which is something we never want to see. However, one of the most repeated dog myths out there about dog illness symptoms is that if a dog has a dry nose, it means it's sick. This implies that a healthy dog's nose is always cold and wet, which is true. Nevertheless, warm and dry noses are totally normal too. So don't worry if this is the usual state of your dog's snout. Everything from dry air and allergies to simply taking a nap can affect the wetness of your dog's nose. But if you notice your pet's nose is constantly dry, cracking, or running, then you should make an appointment with a vet and get that checked out. On the other hand, you do need to be very careful about this next myth. Hold your hand out towards a dog you've just met. I can't stress this enough, never do this. Sticking out your hand can be misinterpreted as a sign of aggression, and the dog may bite you. You also don't know about the dog's obedience record, after all. So if you must approach a new dog, do it from the side and avoid making intense eye contact. It's really not worth the risk. But the biggest lie of all that could be very dangerous is that dogs need to chew on bones. This can be very dangerous for many reasons. One example is if you give your dog real bones, 
they can hurt their mouth and teeth by slicing or splintering them. Not only this, but if it is too hard, it can break your dog's teeth. Or if it is too soft, it can be caught in their stomach and hurt them. But you can't take away things for your dog to chew as this is crucial to strengthening and cleaning their teeth. Therefore, I recommend you check out some of the toys in the description to help your dog safely chew. Also, if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe and watch my previous video on why dogs barking is actually a warning sign. See you there!